distance, 800 metres. It's a good lineup. Let's not underrate the others in the field. The European junior champion, Du Teresa of Spain in the red vest there. Sundnik the Soviet, Diali the Italian, Fulbrugger of East Germany. There's some very useful men in there. First to show is Peter Braun, the West German, who was third in the 1985 and 1987 European Cup, behind, of course, Tom McKean, number 18. They're having to use his elbow just to gain possession of first place. And it was quick there, and there was a little trip at the back involving Fulbrugger. And suddenly it slows when Tom McKean gets in front and is able to dictate the pace. On his shoulder, 177 Viali, the Italian world indoor bronze medalist. Here. The tall Czechoslovak, all in white, running in lane two. But McKean is dictating this race from the front. They reach the bell, Steve Oledi, 54-31. Slow, but Tom's in the perfect position. He really is commanding this race at the moment. He's only going to stop people from coming past him by accelerating, and that means that the other guys are going to run by. So he's in the perfect position at the moment, Alan. McKean leads. Viali, the Italian in the blue vest, in second. And the tall Czech here. Moving up two on the outside is the Frenchman, Herr Filippo, the European indoor 1500 metres champion, and Sudnik of the Soviet Union in the red vest, trying to find a way through. But with under 200 to go, McKean is still controlling this race here. The crowd giving him fantastic support. McKean's winding up, and the gap begins to grow, and Viali can't match that pace. It's McKean on his way to an historic third European Cup triumph. The field closing behind him with the West German draw.